Follow the Sheikah Slate complete. All right. Well, we need to get down, but unfortunately, we don't have any convenient method of getting down. So let's slowly climb down. And I do see pseudonym's comment that apparently locking on and using X in the directional keys, uh, or the left, the X and left joystick while locked on will allow me to, uh, jump out of the way. No, let go, Link. I'm trying to just slowly walk down these giant stairs rather than using climbing on the net material. There we go. My, my. It would seem that we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop the tower? Well, I will tell this stranger that I'm hearing voices. I heard a voice. Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you've caught sight of the atrocity in shrouding the castle? That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the Kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength, for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Hmm. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. Eventually. Not immediately. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try and jump off, well, no death could be more certain, or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. A paraglider? Oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Let's see now. How I how about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Open the adventurer's log. Old man said he will give you the paraglider in exchange for the treasure that lies. Yeah. Come, let me show you something. Do you see that structure there? The one with shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. Yes, I see it. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Alright, let's go treasure hunting. Ancient Spring, we've gotten one of those. Beesh! Come on. I don't know how to make grab make Link grab the fish. Also, I'm gonna get Link to drown. <laughs> that was close. I know I need a fish for later.
There we go, Hyrule Bass. An ordinary fish that can be found all over Hyrule. It can be eaten raw, but cooking it amplifies its healing benefits. Yeah, I'm not going to eat raw fish. That's also a general rule of me in real life as well. <laughs> I think I already looted that one, so let's grab this one and then see if I can get the one that's in the little pond. Ancient screw. Do you have anything? Try and get the butterflies. Um, okay. I mean, I've seen an occasional random butterfly around, and then there's like that little patch that I can't seem to do anything with. But if I see any butterflies that I think I could potentially grab, I can try and grab them. Anyway, let's make our way to this treasure. Omen Ao Shrine. Sheik asleep confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. Cool door. Check this screen for hints that will surely aid you on your journey. The adventurous heart must never stop seeking knowledge. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Omenau. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Magnesis trial. Let's go over here and see what this is. Sheikah Slate Authenticated. Distilling Rune. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab onto the metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis rune. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Rune extracted. Use runes with the L button. All right. So if memory serves, and I can't say all shrines, but most shrines had at least one chest hiding in them somewhere. And so it'll be my goal to try and get all of the chests, though I make no guarantees. And I drop this on him. Seems to be a no. All right. Solve that problem. You consider Magnesis to be the greatest power we get, Jorenda? So I know most of them are pretty cool. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, 
Ah, that's what I was missing. That's how you pull it to us. Traveler's bow, nice. Would be nice if you gave me arrows, because those seem to be rarer than traveler's bows. Yeah, I think most of the powers, if you forget about them, will cause problems. But I think that's everything in this shrine. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Omenau, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess Hylia, and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the goddess Hylia, 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 allow us, me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. Spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. So, these people, are they... I assume they're dead, so are they, like, preserved in some manner, just dead bodies sitting there? Not really sure what the lore there is, but it seems weird to me. May the goddess smile upon you. And yeah, Jorinda, I watched... Yeah, weird... Weird mummy guys giving out spirit orbs, yeah. I don't know what the lore there is. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? Clairvoyance! Oh, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can be often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh, ho, ho. The appearance of these towers and the awakening of this shrine. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. Uh, what do you mean? It has been quite some time since I've seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines and I will give you my paraglider. So I need more now? I said treasure, but I never said there would only be one treasure. Whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? I mean, a lot of walking. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding the shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Got it! <laughs> I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Hmm. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. Hmm. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. This old man seems to know an awful lot. 
Um, but let's go check out this tower. And I do like that they try and make this fast travel lore friendly. Like, oh yeah, you're teleporting, but it's okay because weird ancient technology allows you to teleport and it's fine. <laughs> oh ho ho. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. Did you fly here? Oh ho ho. So you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know that the scope on Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Look through it, and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to ma mark on the map. Uh, scope and pins, okay. The pins on the map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. I got it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Stab him? Um, no, I'm not going to stab... The old man, even though he is uh, questionable. So let's see. Nope, that is stealth. There we go. So let's stick a pin here. Nope, I... That's fine. Uh, we got another one over here. And then there should be a third one somewhere. Like there. Oh, I remember that one. And we will grab towers later. But for now, let's go climb back down out of here. And start making our way to some of these shrines. Oh yeah, so what I was thinking about earlier, I was watching a playthrough of this game a little while ago. Didn't get very far in that playthrough either. Uh, but when he got to that shrine for Magnesis, the amount of time he spent trying to figure out how to stack the couple of metal bl blocks and the like three metal planks was a lot because he didn't realize that he could use Magnesis to grab the... to just grab the chest. And I just remember, there's two chests under the water over here, if I'm remembering correctly. So I don't want to forget about those. Because if I don't get them now while I'm thinking about it, I will forget about them. That is how my brain works. And as much as I want to dash to get to the other side of these, this pond, Link has no stamina, and if he runs out of stamina while swimming, he dies. And obviously I'm going to get plenty of deaths in this game, but I don't see a point to expedite that. Alright. So if I'm recalling correctly, yeah... We have that chest. Some amber. Probably should have read that because I don't remember what amber is used for. Then we have this chest. And if I remember, this plank here can be used over there. Opal, a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. I assume that means it's useful in elixirs in some way. Alright. So if I'm remembering right, I need this over there. To get those chests. Yep. 
Kicking chests is the best way to open chests. And I think if Link is barefoot, there's an animation for stubbing his toe or something. Is there any way to turn this? Not that I see, so we'll have to have Link grab it from a better angle. Uh, there. Come on, straighten out. Nope, a bit farther. There we go. Ice arrows, a bundle of five ice arrows. Ice arrows break apart on impact, freezing objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against hot things. Okay. Fire arrows. A bundle of five fire arrows. Fire arrows break apart on impact, igniting objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against cold things. As one would expect after reading the ice option. And then I also remember this. Um... Nope, too far. Yaha! Yeah. Yeah you found me! Cork seed. Bye bye! Alright, now back to the quest that the mysterious old man gave us. Whoa, whoa! As I nearly fall into the swamp. So, I'm gonna go to this one. Uh, I think that I marked yellow. Which looks like it's in some sort of ruin and certainly nothing dangerous around it. So, let's go nice and calmly. Check out that certainly not dangerous location. Probably shouldn't have used up my stamina right before jumping in the water. Hey, fish. I see you. Gotcha. Didn't even have to dash. Yeah, I assume that you are correct that if I watch my stamina and stop at the right time, then uh, it'll recharge faster, but I tend to not pay attention. Oh. You don't see me. Although I don't think I have any arrows, so... Um, what was it? Oh, I do have arrows. Uh, or am I using my fire arrows? Nope, I have regular arrows. Brilliant. There we go. Yeah, there's probably going to be lots of drowning in Link's future. Let's see if I can steal their weapons. Boko Bow. Boko Club. Boko Shield. And Sneak Strike. Oh. Why do you stand up, Link? Come on, man. Ow. Like, I had him stealth, I did the sneak attack, and then after killing that guy, I wanted to just sneak up to the next guy, but Link had stood up, so then they immediately heard my approach and attacked. And it's like, why did you choose to get out of stealth mode when I put you in stealth? Alright.
could do some cooking. Um, let's drop that. See if I can get it to break. And hopefully it will drop ingredients and not just burn away. I don't actually know. Well, that solves that. Traveler's sword, good. All right, carrying on to where I've marked on the map. You think I should mark cook points? I mean, I suppose I could. My assumption is we'll, we'll be done with the plateau reasonably early and moving on, and then I won't have much reason to come back to here. Oh no. Hey. No attacking me. Okay. I'm gonna leave the weird arms, because they're weird. I recognize they can be used as weapons. I'll grab one just so it's no longer a question mark. The Coblin Arm. A skeletal arm that, that keeps moving even after it's severed from its body. It's kind of gross to strap it to your back, but it'll do in a pinch. It's old and fragile, so it's quick to break. Cool. I'm now carrying around a severed skeleton arm. I guess while I'm thinking about it, I should eat some food. Is there a fast way to cycle through? I should have cooked some food since these are now less effective. Meh. All right, let's keep running towards this yellow pin. Oh, there's keys. Keys wing, the wing of a keys. It's covered with very short fur, sh short sharp fur. It's not much use by itself, but you can mix it with critters to make something useful. Probably more about elixirs. Keys eyeball, a rare material dropped by a defeated keys. It's fun to look at, but it doesn't seem to have much use at first glance, but it must be good for something. Ancient screw. Let's see. Are you one of the evil ones? Oh, you are. I will not be looting you. This game is horrible. For this very reason. Uh, I've got to get to a shrine right there. But I think that one as well is one of the ones that wakes up. I think there's like three of them that wake up in this area. Which is the worst. So no matter how you try to approach this shrine... And I could go through the experience of letting it shoot me so that everyone can see that it one-shot insta-kills. But, you can just take my word for it. Actually, so let's try this. If I... If I lock on... An arrow key... Okay.
That'll be hard to do in battle, but I will try and keep the lock-on mechanic in mind. Or the lock-on and dodge, etc. And we're out of space for carrying more bows, which is probably fine. I'm just going to keep going around here and hoping that there are no more of those uh, guardians, I think they call them, that will activate. <laughs> there. Leave me alone. All right, I have made it in safely. All right, I guess we'll use this arm now. At some point we'll get some real weapons. Ah, um... There's a way to throw. Yeah. There we go. Didn't really need to throw it, but why not? 